Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 30 of Let's Play EU4, a historic Great Britain. We're no longer England, we're Great Britain. It's awesome. So, I have room for... Holland? Holland is... That's my land, right? Yeah, of course. I'm looking for this guy. Diplomacy. Uh, I can do a royal marriage with you. Because I'm awesome, even though you don't like me. And they're one of the people that I released. They're the wrong religion. That's okay. So I've done a royal marriage with you, and where was the other guy? Brabant. I want to do a royal marriage with you as well. We're losing bunches of legitimacy for doing this, but who cares? We have lots of royal marriages. We're in bed with everyone, so we're going to gain it every year. It's fine. Okay, and then soon we can try to build them up and try to vassalize those guys, and as soon as you get up to 190, which should be very soon, one more tick of the improved relations deal. We've got uh, diplomatic. I want. Yeah, you gotta stay there. Missionary strength doesn't seem to matter. Let's take the. Uh, let's take the yearly prestige guy, actually, to try to build that up again. I'm not doing administrative tech for a while, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna buy stability. Although that would be nice. Should we buy one stability? One stability would cost. 107. So I'd save like 10 by picking him. Um, no, I'm gonna go with that guy. We'll go with the, we'll go with the Prestige. Actually, increase it a little bit. Holland and Brabant. Yes, we need to take over their thrones. Okay, so have you guys... Can I do it again yet? Okay, so now I'm going to... They dislike us! Alright, well, we'll improve relations then. And Brabant, I will offer an alliance to. Brabant is... Actually, uh, they think of Holland as a rival. Gallery. I don't think I need to keep these guys. I'm going to change it to Gallery. Sorry, Gallery. So now we're at 150. And now we need to improve relations, get them up to 190, and then we can offer vassalization. Meanwhile, is it July yet? No. Coming up soon. An alliance from Cleves. I don't know who Cleves is. Why Why do you want... I'm not gonna... No. <laughs> A single province dude is like, Hey! Hey, Britain! Hey, Great Britain! Will you be my friend? <laughs> no. I will not be your friend. Losing money each month, that's unacceptable. Uh, we don't really need that much. I mean, they have, like, no army. And who are- what is this, then? Who's fighting? This is Spain versus Denmark. Interesting. I mean, I don't care. Longbow, Chavoche. Wave of Obscuritan- Obscurantism. As a typical response to different kinds of problems, obscuritanism was a frequent behavior in most nations at least until the Age of Enlightenment arose in the most advanced Western nations of the European continent. Lose prestige, or we say knowledge is power. Well, right now my revolt risk is at negative 0.34. It'll go up the higher my legitimacy gets. And our, our tolerance of... The true faith is 4.5, so that will offset the penalty. Our tolerance of heretics is at negative 1. So basically, if I'm understanding pro properly, these provinces would almost definitely have some revolt risk if I did that. And the prestige, we can we can get back. We'll, we'll do ignorance is bliss. I don't want revolt risk. Revolt risk hurts not just... It just not, not only do they revolt, but they also cause uh, lower income. Let's take this guy from Hungary. Why is it only adding one vote? What's going on here? It's weird. Normally it votes in 10-unit ten, ten blocks. Is it because I already started voting for this guy? This cardinal belongs to Hungary since they have given them 32 votes. I've given them a 60. Interesting. I don't think the game knows how math works. I keep forgetting to open this thing up for you guys, so I'm sorry about that. What do you want? 
Switzerland. Nope. I think they're probably offering me alliances because I've got an open couple slots. Alright, so we got the Brabant. Is, uh, are we working on improving relations? It's a single province, so... Whatever. Probably be easier to send them a gift. And you are going to take a little bit more work. Of course, you haven't accepted my alliance yet. I need that extra diplomat. Hey, is our truce over? July 19th. One more month. I've already broken off the royal marriage. The, for, for once, they wouldn't accept. They almost will accept again. Alright, it's after July, whatever it's called, so we can take the capital. Um, we could call willing allies. Alright, move in, men. And you, I wanted to offer alliance to him. And we're going to disband. Or, sorry, detach. And go over here. Apparently Provence is no longer Provence. It's occupied by Savoy. Hmm. More Protestant. Okay. We're continuing to annex France, 37.4%. Only 47 days left till we get that extra advisor. Or, sorry, extra diplomat. We can invest in new technology. We can get military tech. Um, it's only 462. That would be kind of nice. Cavalry shock goes up. We can pick up the new infantry. Yeah, let's do it. We've already capped out the military idea group, so there's really no question about what we're going to do with it. Suffering attrition here, so we'll detach and leave. Leave some cannons behind? No, we did not. Alright, well, let's take the cannon from there then and send it down. That's good. Okay, Provence, I'm claiming your throne. You are now a lesser partner in a personal union. And Brittany is at 200 again, so let's uh, end this war as quickly as possible so we can start annexing this one. Three provinces. That's, that's decent. So we're getting four from Provence. And uh, lower revolt risk. Excellent vintage. Perfect. And there's no enemy. I don't even know why I'm paying for all this maintenance. It's silly. We've actually got a lot of manpower again. I'm feeling good. I feel like we're we're like we're about to really start to roll in the right direction here. We can build stuff. We can build some temples. Let's build temples. You can never have too many temples, right? All right, sweet. We're already on siege. That was actually pretty quick. And. What happened to all my artillery? Don't I have, like, a ton of artillery somewhere? Ha! It's a regiment of 12 artillery. Sweet. Uh, that's smart. Um... Yeah, I want the artillery down here. And I want my boats. I think I had shortcut keys for them, didn't I? Oh, apparently the shortcuts don't save between one game and the next. Alright, so... Just stay, stay still. The boats probably get there pretty quick. And it looks like one more. Attach. We'll bring these guys down. That's a lot of artillery. Like, if we had these, all 12, all of that artillery there, plus five bonus to the rolls, we could blow the crap out of that, that place. And it would be sweet. We've been informed by the commander of the guard in London that Spain is fabricating claims on us. So f Spain wants to, to fight, is basically what they're saying. Okay, um... It couldn't hurt to do that. New idea. Yes, diplomatic relations. I want it. I do. Even though I know I'm falling behind on my diplomatic tech, I really want it. So, union with Provence. We get our aggressive expansion, unfortunately.
going to piss off France, but it doesn't matter. It's going to piss off Burgundy, but it doesn't matter. It's going to piss off Provence, doesn't does matter. No, wait, doesn't matter. Provence is the one that's taken it, so it doesn't matter. It's going to piss off quite a few people, but... Um, ooh, Brittany, though. Minus 43 with Brittany. We were about to, to do something with them. So I might have to wait on the Brittany thing for a bit, but... Can we take the money, too? Sweet. Trade or trade power? <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll just do that. Okay, so we've gained the... We've lost our claim. Yep, okay, so we've done that. But now we are leading you. Good, so we can eventually annex you, I guess, or something. We'll send all these guys to Normandy, because there's a huge supply limit there. And Brittany, yeah, they're upset. Aggressive expansion. We've already sent them a gift. We should just... We'll just keep improving relations. We'll be able to do it soon. And I've got room for tons of relationships now. Eight. We are the diplomatic masters. So who, who are we going to work on next? Like, uh, I do want to... I want Denmark to like me. Um, improve relations. We could do a royal marriage. Yeah, it's fine. So, oh, Denmark absorbed pretty much all of Sweden. Except for part of it. These little tiny guys are kind of annoying. An alliance from Clev Cleves. No. I pick my allies, damn it. I have so many advisors, don't know what to do with them all. Um, Spain is going to be a problem. We should improve relations with them, just in case we want to do anything nasty to them eventually in the future. Seems like a good idea to me. So you're my, uh, you're my little guy, huh? Integrate. It's going to take 50 years. It's a tiny little thing to have to integrate, but uh, the lack of good maps or tools gives us a claim on Bredda. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And these little t is it is it a bad idea to try to make these guys little single single province guys into vassals? The personal unions take 50 years. The vassals only take like 10, so, okay. That's fine. We'll do it. We're improving relations with you. Annexed a member of the Holy Roman Empire. Allied to your rival. Hmm. Well, we're going to improve relations. They are awfully small. An alliance from Genoa. Nope. Austria, though, or Hungary or somebody, I would consider. Wow, Austria, 666. Okay. Reformation branches out. That's fine. Okay, stop it! Stop it with the pop-ups! <laughs> I want this thing. This is what I want. So it's going to take, looks like we're gaining 3.1, 4.6, 1.5. That all adds up to 7.7, 8.9.2. So we're gaining 9.2 per year. Um, plus the improved relations is going up by like roughly 3 per year. So like 12 per year. So in like 3 years, 4 years. It's pretty quick. Quick enough. Meanwhile, we're halfway into integrating France. Which should be awesome for income and everything. Everything should be sweet. Five diplomats. We're just like this diplomatic master. We'll take the administrative power. And maybe eventually I should consider like fixing some of these problem provinces. I don't know. What's our mission right now? Oh yeah, Rome. Totally forgot about that. In Naples. Yeah, let's do that. Who do we not need to improve relations with? You're working on Zealand, that's important. That's important. Working on... what are you working on? Brittany? Yeah, that's important. Madrid, not so much. And you're improving... oh, he's integrating, that's very important. So, improving relations in Madrid. I can stop. 
Okay, and then we're going to go over to Naples, and Naples is just allied with Corfu and Burgundy, so no big deal. And doing this objective will be really good. It's going to cause some... Damn it, it's going to cause some stuff. Aggressive expansion, but it should be just the neighbors, so we'll see. All right, let's do... Uh, I want to see if it's still doing plus one. They should not be loyal to Hungary. They should be loyal to me. It's really weird how that's doing that. Whatever. Okay, let's uh, start cranking up maintenance so that they're happy by the time they get there. We'll go about there to there. We have so many men, I don't think it matters. We'll attach these guys, and this should be sufficient, probably. How many cannons did we end up with? Nine cannons. That's what it automatically chose. Okay, and by the time it starts getting there, we should be good to go. Unfortunately, I don't have any docks, so we might suffer some attrition while we get out there. But we'll just sit right on Rome with all these cannons, and it'll be awesome. And we're leading it ourselves, Henry Lancaster. Hey, you. Declare war. Take Rome. Coming for you, buddy. And since we're so awesome, we're going to start building buildings while at war. <laughs> Temples. Because why not? Because we can. Because money is not a big deal for us. We're so rich. We're still integrating though, right? It doesn't get paused at war or anything weird. 50.1, 51. Okay, good. You do have a fleet. Interesting. Well, we have a bunch of guns. We'll blow you up. Somehow we just drove right by each other. Okay, and what do we got? Oh, lose money. We're going to go in debt. Dang it. Well, there's the problem with spending money is that you instantly get an event that makes you take out a loan. Awesome. Okay, so we get plus four. If we had just one, darn it, I brought nine artillery. If we had one more, we get an extra point, but uh, that's okay. It'll go pretty quick. So I'm going to take a break here, though. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.